Hello and welcome to my channel. Finally found some time to do another video, but yeah, my two kids keep me busy. Uh, today I wanted to talk about my favorite German heavy metal band of all time, Except. Uh, Except was formed in the late 70s by Wolf Hoffmann, um, Peter Baltes, and Udo Dirk Schneider. Uh, and I did not learn um, about Except until yeah the mid 80s, 1985-ish, uh, when one of my friends gave me a copy, uh, a cassette of uh, Metal Heart. I played that thing uh, all day long until it was worn out. Uh, they were one of my top three bands at the time. I had just learned of Iron Maiden and Judas Priest, so those were the other two big ones that I listened to. But uh, back to Accept. I, after um, yeah, totally falling in love with Metal Heart, I got to explore uh, and learn about the, the other albums that they had released to date, and there were quite a few. And now I'm in a position and lucky enough to buy them all back. So the first one they had released was in 19... Uh, 79, uh, the self-titled Accept, uh, cool cover, the gal with the um, chainsaw here, uh, they introduced their logo with um, the lion here uh, and uh, the letters, so that yeah, stayed until today. Um, worth mentioning, the only uh, member still in Accept is Wolf Hoffmann, uh, all the others have left in between. So yeah, I found this one in uh, amazing condition, still in the shrink. Um, the vinyl is in fantastic shape. I do sonically clean all my vinyls, so uh, that helps quite a bit. Yeah, this album, again, uh, in 1979, released uh, Lady Lou is probably the song that is uh, standing out the most. The second album, um, Except, uh, again, or uh, also known as I'm a Rebel, um, was released in 1980. A song that stand out, stands out is obviously uh, I'm a Rebel. Um, China Lady is a good song on it. Uh, yeah, cool cover, cool back cover. Lucky the vinyl is in really great shape again. Um, really proud to have that one. Um, the third album, Breaker, came in 1981. Um, funny about this album is that bassist sang two of the songs, so not just Udo on vocals. Uh, on the back cover, it features the two flying bees that we will see on another cover in a minute. Um, yeah, I, uh, Lucky again, found it in, in really great shape this time on Brain uh, Records. Still has... Um, the original uh, inner sleeve with the lyric sheet. So uh, happy to have that one. Um, the songs uh, th th that stand out on this album, obviously uh, Breaker, uh, and then uh, the yeah, full of language song, Son of a Bitch, Kiss My Ass. Um, yeah, the song that all of us teens in Germany loved back then. Um, okay, the next album. Um, and so far, the first three albums were not really successful commercially. But then the next album uh, started to change that. Uh, the album Restless and Wild in 1982 released. This is the German cover. Uh, on the front, you see the, the two burning flying bees. And uh, on the back, you see uh, the two flying bees. Uh, lucky enough, it's in great shape, this album. This song iconically starts with the German lady singing Heidi, Heidi, Do, Heidi, da, followed by... Udo screaming like crazy, and then the super fast, in your face, almost speed metal, fast as a shark. Other songs that are outstanding here are Restless and Wild, um, Shake Your Heads, Neon Nights, Princess of the Dawn. A, really an amazing album. And yeah, this was the turning point for Accept um, worldwide. So yeah, this one on uh, Brain Records still. And then I came across this album. I had not seen it before, and I thought it's a live um, version of um, Restless and Wild. Well, little did I know that this is actually the international cover um, of the same album that I just shown. And um, this one was released for the first time on Portrait. So, yeah, did not know, bought it, bought it twice, but I'm not going to uh, get rid of it. I'll keep it. Uh, the fifth album is probably the one that everybody knows um, with the most provocative cover. Balls to the Wall. Uh, this album came out in late 83 and I think internationally in 1984. Um, as I said, very provocative cover in the mid 80s. Uh, uh, played a lot into homosexuality and uh, internationally there were some concerns about this cover. A song, uh, song to call out is obviously um, Balls to the Wall. My local hard rock station, KISW, 99.9 KISW here in Seattle, plays this song like once, twice a day. Again, on Portrait, um, really, really great album that really got them yeah, over the edge internationally. Uh, and then here is the, the album that I love the most, 
Uh, that's how I started to know them, Metal Heart. Um, yeah, not everybody loves the cover. I think it's an amazing cover. Um, uh, really cool cover art. Fun portrait. This one is also still in the shrink, so it's an amazing shape. Uh, the songs, they're all amazing on this album. Metal Heart is, is obviously the, the title track, but it's one of my favorites, followed by uh, Midnight Mover, Up to the Limit, Wrong is Right, Screaming for a Love Bite is Great, Too High to Get It Right, um, uh, Living for Tonight, so these are the uh, maybe Doc Song Lead. They are just outstanding songs. Um, then, um, unfortunately, came the last studio album with Udo, the album Russian Roulette. Or roulette. Um, I am lucky enough to have, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, a promo copy of this album. So this one is in fantastic shape on portrait. Found it here locally on uh, on Offer Up. Uh, the song Russian Roulette is great. Um, Hard to find a way. Aiming high is great. Heaven is hell is amazing. Yeah, and this was uh, then the last album with Udo until uh, uh, he came back later in the 90s. Unfortunately, uh, I did not think that Except ever uh, was going to be the same. I did not like the period without Udo and then the, the three, four years where he rejoined Except. Um, was not my favorite period either. So these are my Except albums. They did release their live album um, in uh, 1986, 87, 86, I think. Um, was a, No, sorry, in 1985. Uh, there was a um, live show in uh, Japan. Uh, it had Metal Heart, Screaming for a Love Bite, Up to the Limit, Head Over Heels, uh, Love Child, and Living for Tonight on it. Uh, this one also was uh, released on, on Portrait. Yeah, I just have to have it, and this cover is so iconic. And then just for, for giggles, except cassettes, balls to the wall, the American version of Restless and Wild, and Russian Roulette. So I hope you found this interesting. I hope you're going to discover except. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Write me some comments. I'd truly appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Have a good day.